I'm sorry? You're under arrest. Okay. Do you mind oh, whoa, telling whoa, whoa, whoa. me why I'm under arrest, sir? Why, why am I under arrest, sir? Officers with CNN, and he's on the air right now. That was CNN correspondent Omar Jimenez and his entire camera crew. Uh, first, Jimenez, of course, was arrested on live TV by Minnesota State Police. Uh, now, this was during their coverage, of course, of what's going on in Minneapolis, uh, covering the protests, covering the aftermath, uh, just, just, you know, basically just trying to report on what's going on. They're literally doing their jobs. Uh, but as you're going to see, of course, it doesn't actually matter if you're out there doing your job, if you get even in the way of police, even if you're asking, hey, you know, where do you want us to, you know, to, to go? That's not good enough. You're going to get arrested. Take a look. We can move back to where you'd like. We can move back to where you'd like here. We are live on the air at the moment. This is the four of us. We are one team. Just put us, put us back where you want us. We are getting out of your way. So just let us know. Wherever you'd want us, we will, we will go. We are just getting out of your way when you're advancing through the intersection. So just let us know and we, and we got you. You are arresting him live on CNN. We, we told you before that we are all with CNN. So, hey, we look, wherever you want us to be, we don't want to be in your way. We'll move. Just tell us where you want to go, where you want us to go. We are from CNN. We told you we're from CNN. It doesn't matter at all. They were arrested. Gone. 100% compliant. Zero crime. Uh, again, we have camera footage of him getting, you know, uh, basically walked away. And, and so they didn't care, though. They didn't care. They didn't care. This is authoritarianism. This is fascism. Uh, we have a First Amendment that says freedom of the press. I don't give a damn if they are following orders. And that's what they say. Like uh, the uh, later on, Jimenez talks about his experience and he says, look, you know, they led me away. And the officer, I asked the officer, why am I getting arrested? And he says, I don't know. Like this, that's the order. I was just given orders. I'm just following orders. Now, of course, that's, that's never a good excuse for doing something that violates someone's civil rights. But th literally that was their answer. I don't know. So somebody just gave me, you know, they gave me an order and I did it. Uh, that means violating, you know, CNN's First Amendment rights or uh, Omar's First Amendment rights. And by the way, there's another reporter, uh, Josh, I believe, I forget his last name, uh, who was a white reporter. Well, I mean, he didn't get arrested. Kind of weird how that works out. But look, it's not the first time a reporter has been arrested, by the way. Uh, it's happened in Ferguson. It's happened in the Standing Rock. It's happened in many other places. It's just, I think it might be one of the first times, at least that I've seen in my lifetime, that a member of corporate media was uh, arrested for literally doing nothing, right? So, of course, they got a lot of backlash on this. Uh, and so, in order to try to minimize that or mitigate that, I want to give you a tweet here from the Minnesota State Police. Uh, basically this tweet was like, oh, I didn't know there were reporters. Golly gee, what, like, I didn't know there were journalists. Nobody told me, sorry, our mistake. Quote, in the course of clearing the streets and restoring order at Lake Street and Snelling, four people were arrested by state patrol troopers, including three members of a CNN crew. The three were released once they were confirmed to be members of the media. But he literally had his credentials in his hand. I, and they told you, hey, we're from CNN. We let you know from CNN. We would like, like, hey, if you want us to get out of the way, we're, we're more than happy to do that. I mean, it, it's ridiculous, right? It's very clear out in the open. They were reporters. They were reporters. Uh, but then they still have the temerity to say, oops, sorry, we didn't know. Our bad. No, no, nobody's buying it. Uh, in fact, social media, uh, there were a lot of responses on this. Uh, Midwin Charles says, we all saw it live. This is not an accurate description of what occurred. Uh, another one says, get bent. We saw what happened. It's true. Um, another uh, social media user asks, hey, uh, did the mic and camera crew and them saying, we're CNN, give it away? 
Should have. Should have. Uh, another one said they were, they confirmed they were members of the media before they were arrested. Your tweet is a lie. The entire world saw what happened. Why do you think you can get away with lying? Well, they do have a badge and a gun. Uh, that I, that kind of helps. Uh, another one says they showed their credentials before they were arrested. Nice try. They said they were just following orders. So who gave the order? Very, very curious. Very curious. And as uh, one of our own commenters here uh, throws the uh, ads, protesters always carry high-end camera equipment. Easy mistake. Yes, yes, I always carry my, you know, $10,000 camera rig and microphone when I go to smash windows. Yes, exactly. Mm. Uh, and then uh, uh, Evan here on Twitter says, hey, you can't just, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, this one, guys. It's my favorite tweet here. Uh, and then one more. Uh, you mean to tell me that we did not just witness them identify themselves multiple times as members of the media, but they had to prove their innocence? You won't learn until the city is a smoldering pile of ashes, will you? Scary to think, but maybe. So, again, Jimenez uh, later told CNN, of course, that the officer was under orders. Whose orders? I don't know. Why arrest journalists? I don't know. Did they not understand the PR backlash and nightmare that's going to be? I get that there are officers on edge. And I know Jimenez is like, oh, look, uh, I get it. Everybody's on edge. And, they're, you know, all the stuff that's going on. And he's being super nice and super charitable to the police, right? But, like, no, these orders came in from on high. And not from the grunts on the streets. It was completely unacceptable. So now Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz did apologize later on for this absolute blunder and this violation of First Amendment rights. He said they clearly had the right to be there. It is never acceptable for this to happen. And yet it keeps happening. It never should have happened. It, 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 and you know what? Neither should the death of George Floyd. Police officers, they're out of control in this country. And until we rein them in, this is going to keep happening. Black people, innocent black men are going to die. Uh, and even those who, you know, are uh, guilty of nonviolent crimes or alleged nonviolent crimes. This was over a $20 bill that was allegedly counterfeit. People are dying over that. Black men are dying over that. Black men are dying. Black women are dying when when plainclothes police officers barge into an apartment and fill it with holes in their guns, and including filling this woman uh, with with uh, you know holes. I mean, it's horrible. It's horrifying what's going on here. And so, until we get a handle on our policing, and you know, not just retraining but changing the entire culture of our police in this country this is going to keep happening and innocent people are going to die and as a result entire neighborhoods could end up burning this is not what we want in this country hey guys hopefully you enjoyed that free video now i'm gonna to have to ask you a favor between the uh, demonetization and the youtube algorithm messing around with view counts etc we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron patreon.com slash tyt nation that goes a long way to help us keep the lights on and you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media